So for me, uh, fear is always internal, right? So for me, um, fear is an emotion and it's that, it's that warning sign that, that whether it's real or not real externally, it's that thing in my head that says, I don't know what's going on. I'm not in control. Um, and it's, it's, can be a good thing you know i come in a room and i have that fear and i go you know let me be cautious um and then it can be the bad sign of coming in a room and i'm cautious and there's nothing for me to be afraid of like you know does the dog have teeth is he barking because he wants to bite or is he barking because he wants to get your attention you never really know until you face it right and so it's always an internal thing that i bring with me my preconceived notions of what's going on um, whether it's real or it's not real, whether the person is against me or the person is for me, I already come in with a fear that I have from my experience in my past or in my life um, that tell me what's going on, whether that's the case or not. And um, a lot of it is, it, I mean, it is definitely a both, as Ken said, it's internal, but it's also external, depending on the situation. Because um, a part of me in some aspects where my fear stems from is um, the expectation of having to show up in certain spaces. So being able to actually be myself authentically, yeah, I'm afraid to be myself because in the past, me doing so, that has caused um, some rifts. But then at the same time, if I don't show up and be myself, then am I limiting my ability to move forward or make connections because people can't really see who I am? Um, but then there are other aspects of my life to where the fear is, who am I not to show up? It goes back to the quote, like, who am I not to do certain things? Who am I not to step into my greatness? Who am I not to show up for other individuals? Who am I not to be an advocate for something? So... Um, then it becomes that extra.